Hello everyone, I am Ms. Javel Akalenya and I will be continuing our topic in oral communication. Now, let me show you my slide. Our topic for today is the last three parts of types of communicative strategies. This topic is on the communicative competence strategies in various speech situations. But before we go to our lesson, let me show you our objectives for this topic. At the end of the lesson, you are going to define the topic shifting, repair, and termination. You're going to distinguish various types of communicative strategies, such as topic shifting, repair, and termination. And also, you're going to explain the effects of a shift in communicative strategies, topic shifting, repair, and termination. Now, let's go to our topic. First, we have topic shifting. In topic shifting, it is defined in communicative strategies as introducing a new topic followed by the continuation of that topic. This act is sometimes used when a respondent is no longer willing to continue with the topic of the conversation or want to avoid answering a question directly. For example, in a communicative strategy, Topic shifting exists within the following examples or situations as they arise. First one, when speaker wants to change the topic without announcing his desire to do so, but then if he is equipped with the right strategy, he can do this without being noticed by the audience. Sometimes he can use some words or phrases, for example, by the way, but or let's go to the next topic. The second one, when a writer wants to incorporate a new idea that will further support his subject, he may opt to shift the topic in a very subtle way as to not compromise the main idea of his writing. Again, applying a proper technique will do this trick. Now, let's go to the next topic. We have repair. What is repair? Repair is defined in the communicative strategies as overcoming communication breakdown to send more comprehensible messages. This strategy is often used by recipient of a message to make sense of conversations or statements delivered by someone who cannot speak a language fluently. You can repeat the sentence or the phrase that you think you got mistake. For example, Ken said, sure enough, 10 minutes later, the bell or the doorbell rang. Here, this example shows that sender produces the trouble source to the receiver. Then Ken finds out the trouble source and initiates repair by using the word the doorbell rang. As you can see, Ken repeat the phrase to repair what is wrong to his sentence. Now let's go to the next topic. We have termination. In termination, it is defined in communicative strategies as using verbal or non-verbal signals to end the interaction. This strategy can be used to politely end a conversation as well as express strong negative feelings when ending a conversation. Verbal examples of this can be simple, thank you, or that's it. A non-verbal examples of termination can be a handshake or a nod. For a yes or an acknowledgement, turning of the head from left to right for a no or disagreement or walking out. It is better to have some gestures like yes and no before walking out or more appropriate in a conversation. Now, let's have an example for that. Termination is one of communication strategies that provide use of verbal and nonverbal cues to signal and end to an interaction. Some examples of termination are the following. 
first, prolong clarificatory statements. So here, you can prolong the statements to clarify more, to have a termination for the topic. Secondly, further questions. You can ask some questions to stop the conversation or the topic that you're talking about and to go to another topic for that question. And the last one, continuation of topic already discussed. You can stop the topic that you're talking about and going back to the original topic that you have. Now, it's activity time. I will be giving you 10 minutes to answer this activity. Okay. The first activity is, you're going to identify the type of communicative strategy in each statement. Here's the next one. And for your second activity, you're going to reflect on the learning that you gained after taking off this lesson by completing the given chart. This is your chart. What were your ideas or thoughts about the topic before taking up a lesson on types of communication strategy? I thought. In the second graph, what new or additional ideas have you had after taking up this lesson? I learned that. Okay, so that's for today. I hope you learned something. Thank you.